life out here in these streets, though, Aaron Ray, because, I mean, as a man such as myself, I look at the advent of social media, and it just seems like everybody's having the time of their damn life. <laughs> I'm married, so I'm sitting at home having the time of my married life. Mm -hmm. But on social media, it seems like if I had this at my disposal back in my <laughs> younger days, I would be Wilt Chamberlain in this motherfucker. And that's why I said social me media Wilt is an spilt. illusion. It's an illusion. Because, now, don't get me wrong, single life is not that bad. But majority of the people that's out here single prefer to have somebody they can just be chilling with. Because, first off, niggas is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I, when I say niggas is crazy, these men are crazy as hell. Women are too, but, like, these that. men really are crazy. And so you have to watch out for so many different things. Like, like you said, you take a woman out to eat, he thinking off top, yeah, got her a McDonald's meal. <laughs> she about to go bust it open. If you don't yeah. bust it open, now you trying to bust you upside your head. So you got to like, it's a lot of different things that you have to look out for in the single life. But for me personally, I have not had a lot of the issues that I hear about. And I do think it's also how you carry yourself as a woman. And that's not saying that things won't happen to you. Yeah. But I feel like if you carry yourself a certain type of way, you're going to attract a certain type of energy as well. Yeah. But how so, can you be single in, 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 in this social media world, like, because it's like it's so much, like, at your disposal. Like, is it possible to even be like, I'm single and this is where I want to stay? Uh, just have it your way. I believe that being single right now, and be, if you was, if you got with somebody before the social media era, thank God. Because <laughs> in the social media era, it come, it's so hard because, like you said, it's so much at your disposal. Man. Everything is like, if I post my man online, oh, yeah, I mess with him, too. Da-da-da, my cousin. Like, it's just so easy for anybody to come and see a relationship. So I think that's what makes it hard. And a lot of men, I have, talks, I have a lot of male friends, like, from industry, whatever. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm 35 now. Shoot, she got to have this, 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 this. And no woman has every single thing that you want. So they have each a woman for each thing that they like. Somebody that they can really talk to. Somebody that's really sexing them good. Somebody that can kick it with. Somebody that's on this. Somebody that's on that. So it's a different person for everything. And I feel like social media has made that so cool. Like, yeah, who wants to be single? Ain't nobody. Everybody wants to be toxic. And people are living their lives based on social media when that's not even real. Yeah. Male friends, though. I mean, how do you have a relationship carrying on with all of those male friends? Do you drag them into each relationship or do you close the door behind them when you get into a new relationship and say, hey, man, I ain't going to holler at y'all until this shit's over with? Ooh. It is boundaries because let me tell yeah. you, my last relationship, well, a couple relationships ago. Mm. He did not like one of my male friends. And I cut that nigga off just as I was like, hey. And I told him, I was like, B. Brendan, I love you, but this is just what it is. He yeah. respected it, so he was like, shoot, all right. He was like, if that's the route you want to go, cool. Um, Me and that nigga ain't together no more. Mm. That nigga was my dog, though. Like, never came at me, looked out for me, made sure I was cool, everything. I ain't friends with him no more, and I ain't got that nigga no more. So now it's all Damn. about boundaries. If my man says he has a, a certain type of issue, then I'm going to respect that, but I don't believe in now just cutting people off all together. Now, if something happened, yeah, that's one thing. But if you just saying, oh, I don't want you to have no male friend, in the industry that I'm in, that's really not even, like, a possibility yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's that's just jealousy. Like, that's... It is. It's jealousy. So I'm never going to come at you like, hey, you can't have no woman friend. I am going to respect some boundaries, though. Like, yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying? At least show me the respect that I'm your woman and that this is what it is. And I'm going to do the same for you. But so, cut somebody off now. So how you feel... I, if you was married and your husband is in the entertainment business, uh, vice versa, white, husband, however, and strip clubs, mm -hmm. how do you feel if your significant other always say he have work in the strip club? How would you, <laughs> how would you, how would you deal with that situation? Being in the in industry that I'm in as well, the media industry also, I get it. You have some means in there. We're going together because why the fuck are you always here? <laughs> <laughs> always. I pull up. I throw some ones we too. Let's have We're going together. I, I because respect, yeah. wait a minute. All I'm the time? You. All yeah. the time. Because I do know that being in this industry, nobody ever wants to have a conversation on the phone. Well, let's do lunch. Let's do that. Yeah, and niggas always want to go face to face. We got to meet. We got to. Nigga, call me and tell me what the hell you mean. Everybody want to meet. So I do understand there's always some meetings involved. Okay. So I'm never mad at that. But don't try to play on my face like every day. Every, every time you have a meeting that's at the strip club, cool, yeah. let's go together. I sit on the back. They don't even know I'm here. 
Okay. 